To save the job, you need a few things filled in. You need the customer selected and a job name. Everything else is optional. You don't need any additional special instructions or your ship to or anything else. Job number, PO number, just the job name and the customer selected. But when you do save, click on the little save icon and that will save this job. Also, you can choose it from the file pull down menu. Choose save there or use control S on the keyboard to save. If you want, I also can do save as to save this as another job. After you complete this job, you can use save as to make a duplicate of it and then change the duplicate for that information. When you're ready to reopen the job, I'm going to go ahead and since I just saved, I'm going to close this one. When you're ready to reopen it, click on the green open button or the little file icon here or the file menu open or control O on your keyboard, any one of those four ways to open the job. Shows you all the customer jobs that you have created so far. If you've deleted them, that they actually are just they're not removed from the database. They're just marked as deleted, but they won't appear in this list anymore. But if you click on the customer, and you can filter and find the customer, and there's a different, there's another video explaining how to find customers. You can see the job, and you can sort. So here we're sorted by date last edit, and then you can click on open to open that job. You also can go to recent or control R if you like to use your keyboard to open up the most recent jobs and they're sorted up to 50 jobs. Your 50 most recent jobs are shown here, but the last one you worked on is shown at the very top. So that's one I want to reopen. So I click OK and now I'll reopen the job.